The Youth Academy is the main reason the majority of people play FIFA Career Mode. I definitely know that's the case for me. Without the Academy, you might as well just be playing in Kickoff Mode. However, in real life, teams aren't all the same when it comes to their Youth Academy. Today we're looking at 5 teams that are known for bringing through youth players that you should seriously consider for your next youth save. I'll try and cover one team at every single star rating, starting with two teams in England. Crew Alexandra are a team that lived and died based around their youth academy. It seemed like for 20 years, every single season, Crew would bring through yet another Premier League talent out of its youth setup. With names like Dean Ashton, Ashley Westwood and Danny Murphy all being regulars in the English top flight, despite coming from an academy in a tiny town in the English 4th division. A huge part of their success came from Dario Grady, who managed Crew from 1983 until 2011, before he stepped down to look after just the youth system. Dario Grady had a big interest in the success of the Crew Academy. He had a weird clause in his contract giving him a percentage of profit for any player that was sold to another club. As Academy players were technically entirely profit, he was earning massive amounts of money from bringing through and selling young players. Thanks to Crew's location being near the Welsh border, both England and Wales are super realistic places to send your youth scouts. There's basically no limit on what realistic players could come through at Crew. With former England captain David Platt being picked up as a 16 year old, I'd go for three youth scouts and try and get all three to have three star judgement and experienced stars. Crew have managed to name entire teams of youth players in the past as well, so why not see how many games you can achieve this during your save. At the other end of the spectrum is Manchester United. One of the most interesting facts about the Red Devils is their streak of having a youth player in every single squad for the last 85 years. This stretches back all the way to 1937. With players like Rashford, Garnacho, and McTominay, this streak is set to last for at least the next 10 seasons. An underrated part of Manchester United's academy success comes from their popularity. Some of United's best players of all time come from Ireland, Wales and the south of England, but no other team in the country can compete with this kind of popularity. You got players like Beckham moving from London, George Best moving from Belfast and Paul Pogba coming in from Paris. You should scout as many neighbouring nations as you can to build up your youth academy pool. To try and recreate this global scouting network, get the very best scouts you can find. With a bit of hiring and firing, it shouldn't be too difficult to get three youth scouts with 5 star judgement and experience. Leaving England, and despite spending most of their existence in Ligue 2, Le Havre have one of the most prestigious academies in France. They might not have the riches of PSG or the titles of Marseille or Lyon, but their methods have worked in youth development for more than four decades. Some huge names have played for the French club's academy over the year. Paul Pogba, Riyad Mahrez, Dimitri Payet, Lasana Diara, Edouard Mendy, Ferland Mendy and Steve Mandanda are some of the most recent graduates who are still active in football. With a team in the second division, you can easily build up your squad with high potential players who will explode in overall growth when exposed to the top flight French football upon your promotion. The club has a policy of relocating young players from other areas of France. For example, Marez moved three hours from Paris to join the academy, while Steve Mandanda moved from the Indian Ocean island of Reunion, a place that is over seven hours flight from the Le Havre Academy. This gives you the excuse of sending your youth scouts to any French speaking nation and it still being a realistic option. I would say 3 star judgement and experience is good for their team on this level, but once you've been promoted, upgrade to the best 5 star scouts you can find to try and show you've invested in your youth academy. If you prefer Scandinavian football to Western European football, there's some brilliant news as IF Bromma Pjana are going to be added to next year's game. Unfortunately though, there's no real other world class academies in this area of the world at the moment. You could create them with Creator Club, so consider that if you prefer using a smaller league. And elsewhere in Northern Europe, you've also got Denmark's FC Nordsjælland, Norway's Valerenga, and the old firm pair in Scotland of Rangers and Celtic. The problem with these leagues is though that you'll most likely find them too easy for any sort of long term career mode save, so I would recommend this next team instead. It's hard to look past the Red Bull group of clubs when it comes to youth academies worldwide. 
We're going to look at Salzburg, but don't look past Leipzig or Red Bull New York if you're more interested in the MLS or the Bundesliga. RB Salzburg are basically single-handedly reviving Austrian football with their academy, so that's why we're going to look at them in more detail. The ideas behind the 2014 rebuild of their entire youth facilities were based around the idea of creating the perfect modern footballer. You need technique and power, so these are the two biggest focuses of their squad. You can see this in some of the players they've brought through. Java Schleiger, Dominik Soboschlei and Konrad Leimer are the exact type of player you want to bring through your youth academy. You can try and recreate this by scouting for physically strong players and then train them using a very technical style of development plan. You also shouldn't be hesitant to retrain your young players to different positions. Almost every Red Bull Academy graduate is flexible and able to dominate in different areas of the pitch. So try moving your wingers to fullbacks or maybe your centre midfielders to striker. The options are almost unlimited when it comes to retraining on FIFA. Make sure you check out my retraining video if you haven't already seen it and want to know a little bit more. With the amount of investment that Red Bull put in, only the very best 5-star judgement and experience scouts should be hired. Salzburg have also won the Youth Champions League recently. Only Barcelona, Chelsea and Benfica have more success in this competition. Hopefully you can continue to improve the standard of Austrian football and why not see if you can win a major international trophy with the Austrian national team. If you've got questions about the Youth Academy you want me to answer, please leave them in the comments below because I'm making another video about how you can master the entire area of career mode. In another video, I'm going to try and answer what the stars mean on your youth scouts, where you should be scouting and how to get better players, how to develop them. So if you've got any sort of questions on these sort of topics, make sure you leave them in the comments below. This isn't a complete list of all the best academies on FIFA by the way. I know I've missed out teams like Sporting in Portugal. I know Leicester have built a brand new youth academy right near my house that looks absolutely top class. There are some really big teams out there that I've not mentioned. I know there'll be Arsenal fans, Barcelona fans, every fan of every big team will be saying their academy is the best. So if you think yours is the best, make sure you leave that in the comments as well. Tell me why your youth academy, your team's youth academy is the absolute best. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you soon for another video. Cheers and goodbye.